All right, man. The only way to save America. America. I have, I have the method, and I'm going to tell you all about it. Uh, but before I do, I've got to tell you, we've got a, a fun opportunity coming up. We are having a, uh, a training weekend, a free training weekend. This is called Tactical Masculinity. It's the first part in a long series. It's a collaboration with Pete Rambo and, uh, and a ministry that we're both involved in. Uh, the, the ministry we met through. What it's going to be is uh, uh, a over the Memorial Day weekend, and I will have that date ready the next time I do this. Shit. Whatever it is, Memorial Day weekend. We're going to meet on a Friday. Uh, this is a no-cost event. Uh, you've just got to provide your own food, your own stuff, your own transportation, your own bullets. You don't necessarily have to bring your own weapon. If you don't have a weapon, we'll be able to help you experience one. Uh, but you will have to provide the bullets you shoot. And, and we can have some there. You just, just have to pay for them. But this is going to be a... Uh, think of it as a drill weekend. It's designed so that that beginners and, 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 and men inexperienced with, uh, with some of the martial skills can, can become familiar with them. And, and, so that, and, and for those who's more experienced can still be challenged. Uh, there, there will be some periods of instruction. There will be some periods of practical application. We will have access to a, a, a live fire range, a hundred yard range. These, this is primitive conditions. So you will be sleeping on the whatever you bring. Ideally, whatever you think that you would use as a bug out or uh, in a, a minute man situation. Uh, you'll be cooking your food, you know, however you, you deem cooking it. And, and then there will be some, some tasks associated with uh, some field exercises. Like I said, designed for the beginner and uh, to, to gain some familiarity and for the experienced person to, to be interested maybe not challenged but interested or maybe challenged who knows maybe we could do some challenging stuff uh, so uh, stay tuned for that uh, we're, we're pretty excited about it it's similar to some things we've done in the past but more structured and more organized and with a, a view towards a a larger goal in the future so please come out and be a part of that it's going to be big and you're going to be glad to have been in on the on the ground floor of it okay so the only way to save america other than every man in America, you know, getting their rifle and going to drill weekends with their local militia, <laughs> which would actually save America. The only other way to save America, and people are starting to talk about it now, it is the great national divorce. We gotta divorce each other, men. We, we can't live together anymore. Uh, I, I can't be in the same nation as uh, Adam Schiff or Gavin Newsom. Uh, our, our values and our culture are too different. We have to either have a federalism so radical, a federalism so complete that it looks like, hmm, that a, a federalism so radical that we cooperate on almost nothing except national defense, uh, and, and with a very tight definition of national defense, or, or we, we have to splinter. We can't live together anymore. I, I believe that socialized medicine is a, a, a deeply tyrannical plot to steal my freedoms. And people on the other side think that, that socialized medicine is a necessary human right that is equivalent to murder for them to live without. You cannot reconcile those two points of view. I believe abortion is the murder of a child, and the other side believes denying abortion is the murder of the mother. There's no way to reconcile those two points of view. I believe that traditional biblical sexual morality is, is non-negotiable, and other people believe the traditional biblical sexuality, and yes, you smarmy sons of bitches, I know what that looked like in the Old Testament, and I'm okay with that. So don't, you know, don't think you, you play your gotcha games. Uh, but uh, the other side of the aisle thinks that that's murder of, of homosexual and trans people. There's no way to reconcile these two points of view. If we want to keep 
the American... I don't even know what to call it anymore. If we want to keep the, 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 the 50 states in some sort of, of loose federation, then that could be possible only if, only if we cooperate on nothing but the military. Uh, and look, the dirty little secret of this is that we can't cooperate only on the military. We have to cooperate on, if we're going to cooperate on the military, then we have to cooperate on taxes and spending. And, and that's where it's all going to fall apart. Because one side is going to say we've got to pay for abortions and trans and the kids, and the other side is going to say we're not going to pay for anything but bullets and missiles. Uh, and the whole damn thing falls apart. The only way this can work, the only way we can stay united as, as a, 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 I don't even say a people, but as a political union, as if that political union revolves around nothing, nothing other than the defense of the continent. And if California wants to be the, the trans abortion uh, sanctuary of the world, then they have to do that with their money uh, inside their borders. And if South Carolina uh, or Arkansas or Missouri, I'm really big on Missouri right now. Well, Missouri is tearing it up. You know, if, if Missouri wants to have nuclear weapons be legal for those who can afford them, then they have to do that on there. And, but that's the only way we can continue to cooperate. The only thing we can cooperate on going forward is national defense. And we have to define national, and even that, how do we do it? You know, how do we, how, how do we reconcile COVID and vaccine mandates? Uh, my sons are breaking a seven generation military tradition. With my blessing, I asked them to break a seven generation military tradition over that stupid COVID vaccine. Uh, you know, is, so we, we can't even cooperate on that. But if, if we can cooperate on anything, that's the only thing we can cooperate on, the national defense. Men, we appreciate you. We'd love to see you at, at this uh, Tactical Masculinity Weekend. It's, it's going to be big. It's going to, well, I mean, you know, it's, it's going to be important, let's say that. And it's going to develop and grow. And uh, this is Pete's, Pete's vision. And uh, he's cast it to me. And I have signed on wholeheartedly. And I think it's going to be a big deal. So we would love to see you at that. Men, we appreciate you. Thank you.